Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest 12 Tutorials, I am Koizuki and in this video we are going to do a Giga Monster battle against the new Giga Monster set that is going to be the Giga Palace right here. So I don't have a whole lot of time left but um, here uh, pretty much uh, the one of the main uh, attributes that to use against this is going to be Dorma. So I'm going to be using a Dorma based team here with three attackers and one healer. So first I'm going to have a high priest equipped with the angel rod. So that is going to have um, ultra hustle dance that can actually heal my entire team and also uh, possibly get a charm on the enemy. Plus it has blade dance can actually buff up my other characters. So this is going to work out quite well for this particular battle. Then here with my first demon swordsman, I'm going to have on the enchanted ribbon that's going to have sexy beam. So with sexy beam, that's going to do uh, 375 dorma physical technique damage to an enemy with a chance of charming or even confusing it. But uh, also this particular ability combines attack and magic power. So this is actually going to work well with my demon swordsman here. Then with my second Demon Swordsman, I'm going to have on the Hellfire Greatsword and going to be using the Dark Lord's Dark Sword. So that is going to do uh, about 410% of Dorma weapon damage to one enemy and it's going to start a Dark Countdown. So very similar to the Guardian Spirit's Battle Flute. So going to have on the final countdown going to do more damage than normal with this particular attack. And then over here, this is going to be my... Uh, God Hand equipped with the Angel Guillotine. So with this, I'm going to be using Eternal Judgment. So with that, going to do some major damage to the enemy and also have chances of debuffing the enemy as well. So with that said, if you want to know more about this team, you can look down in the video description down below. But now I want to actually go over the new uh, Giga Monster in terms of its abilities. So the Giga Palace is going to be an animate type enemy. For the normal battle, it is going to have 5 million HP while the special battle is going to actually have 10 million so that's going to be a kind of I believe it's a first for a giga uh, monster to have that much HP then it's going to have one to two actions per turn weaknesses gear dorma baki and jibaria so its main ability is going to be called uh, medante kanin which is does around 1000 non attribute spell damage to all characters so um I will actually go over something about this a little bit later. Then its next ability is going to be called Nessin or Hotta, which is going to be fear, Fight a Fierce Battle. This does around 350 Gira physical damage to all characters, plus an additional 3 attacks for 200 damage each to random characters. After that, it's going to have a Tayatari or Shikakete Kita, which is going to be a body slam. This is going to do around 450 physical damage to all characters with a chance of knocking them down. So this is going to actually uh, be quite annoying, especially if you do not have on a protective shield. Then after that, he's going to have a Hakugeki Yoho, which is going to be a mortar. This does around 450 damage to one character and the characters on either side of them at the start of their turn. So um, that's going to actually, he'll use it and then when it, the character that it targeted, when it's their turn, it will then do damage. After that, it's going to have an energy juden, which is going to be energy charge, which goes from 50% to 95% and 120%, and will perform Medante Cannon when it reaches 120%. After that, it's going to have a Maho -ho Hokabe, which is going to be um, Deploy Magical Barrier. This increases resistances to weapon physical techniques, spell, and breath damage by one rank and increases guard rate by one rank and receives the magic counter buff so that actually won't matter too much since none of my characters will be using spells then uh the final uh, ability it has is going to be called makakara oki oto gasuru which is going to be loud sound from inside so with this it will summon either two bloodstained demon swords or two guardians to the battle so um that's something that you want to actually be uh, a little bit worried about uh if you are not doing uh, attacks on all enemies but here in terms of my notes try to fill the giga attack gauge at least once during the battle so definitely if you can do it multiple times that's even better use skills that attack all enemies when the giga palace summons monsters into battle so uh, again that's bloodstained demon sword and also the guardians after it reaches 95% uh, with uh, energy 
uh, charge, it will use um, a Dr. Canner, so have your characters as close to max HP as possible. So the effects of Stand Firm actually do not um, work for this particular attack. So um, pretty much with the Guardian, if you use Stand Firm, the Guardian um, pretty much will not take all the damage. Instead, it will still go out to all the other characters, so it's pretty much useless to use. Then again, since this is an animate object uh, type of enemy, you want to equip good gear, souls, and soul pearls that give you resistances to or greater damage to uh, inanimate type enemies. So that's going to be this particular uh, Giga monster here. So I want to go ahead with this particular team. Um, I have used it uh, recently and it does actually quite well. So uh, with that said, here we go. Okay, so here we go with this battle. So pretty much with this, uh, what I really want to um, be careful about is actually going to be with the Medante Cannon. That is going to actually do some serious damage with against my characters. So before that happens, I definitely want to defend. So first thing I'll do here is, here I'm actually going to go ahead and buff up my characters. So here hopefully I can actually have the palace, ooh wow that was nice damage right there. So hopefully I can actually have the, eventually get its uh, physical damage resistance uh, lowered. We'll see what happens. Okay, here going to go again. So extreme karma. Let's maybe do thirteen thousand damage. Oh, Nine thousand. Okay, no problem. Uh, here, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and use blade dance. So here, uh, most likely going to be using a body slam. We'll see what happens. Yeah, right here. Uh, that's such an mortar attack. Oh, and with this, uh, my Demon Swordsman on the... So here, yeah. So what I'll do here is, actually, I'm going to actually have to just heal up. There, there goes Body Slam. And here we have two Bloodstained Demon Swords uh, out on the battlefield now, so I have to take care of them as well as the uh, Giga Palace. So, ooh, okay, that was actually quite good. Got a Shadow Weave there, so um, here what I'll do is I'll go ahead, revive this character. And, ooh, okay. Ah, nice. I got an instant death on uh, one of the uh, Bloodstained Demon Swords. And here, got a charm on the other Bloodstained Demon Sword. So here with this, okay, now I get a good, good attack chance. So this is going to uh, recover the HP of my characters. Yeah, and here going to go ahead, use Blade Dance again. So 
So there goes another mortar attack. So that's going to be on my uh, high priest. So that is going to attack my high priest and my uh, first demon swordsman. So now it's going to start the countdown. It's at 50%. So uh, when it gets to 95, that's when I want to actually start uh, defending. So it goes a mortar attack. So here what I'll do is I'll go ahead, use Ultra Hustle Dance. Uh, no charms there. That's fine. So 95%. So next turn is going to use uh, Madante Cannon. So um, here with this next turn, what I'll do is I will actually go ahead. Even though I have... Um, These characters here I really want to actually go ahead and defend that's going to actually save me here so you'll see uh, with this next coming attack so here comes the Medante cannon yeah so uh, definitely with that attack my two demon swordsmen would have gone down so you saw that pretty much over half their life was actually taken but uh, here now I can just focus on attacking, so uh, hopefully we'll see what happens here. But here the defenses of, this, of the enemy are lowered. So there, okay good, nice crit damage there as well. So Ultra Hustle Dance. So there goes the mortar. So that's going to be on my demon swordsman. So going to attack the demon swordsman and also the characters on its side. So it looks like it's getting ready for another countdown as well. Yes. But uh, with this next turn, um, I should be getting another giga attack chance. Okay, no problem there. So after this attack, okay, went in. Okay, so this battle is worth 55,000 uh, XP. And this is a red soul here, I got a D. Okay, so that was my battle against the Giga Palace with a Dorma based team. So uh, yeah, this team did work out well. Like I said, I did lose my uh, one character in the beginning. So um, that really uh, kind of lessened the amount of damage that I did overall. But, um, yeah, definitely for the Medante Cannon, uh, defending was the correct choice. If I had not defended, I would have lost my two, uh, major, two, uh, damage dealers, um, with both my Demon Swordsmen. Um, Demon Swordsmen, uh, while they do a lot of damage, um, they actually do take a lot of damage as well. So, almost like a glass cannon in a way. But, um... Definitely, I was hoping to get uh, some uh, debuffs with the Angel Guillotine for lowering the physical attack damage resistance of the enemy, but that didn't uh, come through. But uh, besides that, um, things actually did go well with this battle. So I will be making more videos on this particular um, Giga Monster, especially over the coming weeks, as uh, the strategies do change for this particular uh battle so please stay tuned for that but with that said i'm going to go ahead and end this video here so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like if you would like to see more please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video